Hey guys, Dylan here with MotionVFX.com and today we're going to learn how to easily create something like this using MTracker 3D. Let's start off with two pointers that can help you to get the best track possible. One is convert the footage that you're going to track to optimized media. You can do that by heading into your library, right clicking the clip, select transcode media, and hit create optimized media and then hit OK. This will also improve playback quality when you're watching the footage on your timeline. Here's the second tip, MTracker 3D will track most accurately with shots that have high contrast. So basically when there's a difference between the darkest parts of your shot and the brightest parts. And so what you can quickly do is add a bit of contrast using our free plugin MLUT. Slide this contrast slider to the right to add more contrast. If you want, you can turn off the contrast adjustment after you track with MTracker 3D. We just made this adjustment to help make sure we get a silky smooth track. Now let's make some magic. So head into your effects browser and add MTracker 3D by double clicking with your footage selected. And tracking is as easy as pressing track in your viewport here. Fun fact, MTracker 3D version 2 is 5 times faster than version 1. Once the track is done, hit copy track. Let's head into our title browser, head down to MTracker 3D expansions, and we'll use this title from the MTracker 3D titles pack. And then let's trim off the end here by aligning our skimmer or playhead and pressing option and right bracket. With it selected, head into your inspector window and hit paste track. Now all of the metadata from our tracked clip is transferred to this title. Let's turn animation in and out off. We don't need our title animating at all. Let's place our title in a 3D space now. Select the target icon and select where you'd like the title. And by the way, to straighten the target point position if you want, hit the shift key. We'll adjust the exact position of this in a second. Next, let's adjust what our text says. I'll adjust the position and scale of our text so it fits well within our shot and it's in position to make it appear like the guy is running through the R here. Now let's stylize the text so it looks a little more realistic and like it's actually on the beach. Head down to Title Lighting Style, and we'll change this to Diagonal Right, since the sun is shining from behind and to the right of our text. Now let's adjust the title lighting intensity. I'll decrease the shadow opacity, and increase the title environment intensity. Let's head down the list here and adjust the light intensity. I'll change the light distance. And we'll rotate this around so it matches our runner's shadow. This will also make our shadows look more natural. Let's adjust the light angle a bit since the sun is pretty high up in the sky. Now let's tweak our shadows. The only thing I'm going to do here is make these smoother and softer by adjusting the softness slider. They're a bit too sharp. Light wrap is going to make the text seem like light is glaring off of it to give more of a sense of realism. So we'll toggle this on and let's increase the intensity a bit. We can make the 3D text fit the scene even more by adding some reflections since we'd probably see reflections off of the shallow water here. So toggle this on. We'll increase the reflectivity, increase the blur amount so the reflection isn't as sharp, and let's decrease the fall off end distance so the reflection isn't so long. Let's go down to the bottom and toggle on hue and saturation, and let's decrease the saturation on this text to help make it blend in a little more with the sand. We're going to make some final adjustments to fine tune everything since the lighting isn't looking like a 100% match. I'm going to go back up to the top and let's rotate the title environment and we're going to increase the light intensity quite a bit to help the light on the letters match the light in the scene a little more. Lastly, let's drop down our letters by adjusting our Y value to help get the letters in the reflection a little closer. And I'd say that looks pretty dang good. And this is just the tip of the iceberg with this plugin. If you enjoyed this walkthrough, do us a favor and crush that like button and make sure to subscribe if you have not already. Once again, my name is Dylan and I'll see you in the next one.